Hi, I'm Akiva Martyr. And I'm Denna Kath. And this is Shields News with your Week we get at a Glance. glance. The Wayus Farm Sale is up and running. The sale, which is the largest Jewish book sale in North America, provides discounted prices on the latest of nearly 12,500 titles in rabbinic and academic literature, cookbooks, children books, and much more. This year, there will even be a wide range of music and Judaica options from around the world. This farm sale will run in Belfer Hall through February 26. For those who cannot attend the sale in person, you can order from online catalog at www.thisfarmsale.com. As we speak, YU's Model United Nations Conference is running for its 27th year in Stamford, Connecticut. Bringing together over 400 high school delegates from Brazil, the U.S., and Canada, the three-day admissions event is an interactive simulation of international diplomacy. In one of 15 committees run by YU students, delegates represent a country to debate issues such as armament, famine, and terrorism, and then collaborate to develop solutions. Rabbi Dr. Kenneth Brander and new Vice President for Government Affairs, Phil Goldfeder, will be speaking at the conference. This past Wednesday, 80 YU students and students from three Yeshiva high schools visited Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. The trip, planned by UPAC, the Yeshiva University Political Awareness Club, included meetings with over 25 congressional and Senate offices to discuss support for Israel. Though the trip occurs annually, there was special excitement over this year's visit. UPAC President S.D. Hurt said, quote, The UPAC trip to Washington was more important than ever this year. Amidst a time of great political change, it was important for students to show that our support of a strong U.S.-Israel relation is important no matter the circumstances. For the ninth consecutive year, the Stern Chemistry Club, a student chapter of the American Chemical Society, or ACS, has been awarded a grant to subsidize student travel to the April ACS National Meeting in San Francisco. Senior Miriam Safran and sophomore Lior Levy, the winners of Stern's chapter poster competition, will be attending to present their research. We wish them the best of luck as they get in their element. And now over to Ariella with events. Hi, I'm Ariella Greengard stepping in for Abigail and Yeshua for events. It's a behind the scenes takeover. Tonight, Let's Talk Aliyah. Student Life is hosting an event titled Aliyah, Aliyah Talks Idea or Ideal. Rabbi Kenneth Branzer and Rabbi Reuven Tarigan will discuss the idea and practicality of immigration to Israel in today's world. The event begins at 8 p.m. in verse 535. Have some suggestions, complaints, or thoughts to share? Come have your voice heard at the Wolf Student Council Town Hall, where Yeshiva College student representatives will be speaking on Wednesday, February 15th at 5.45 p.m. in the Reuben Shaw. This Tuesday, the Counseling Center is having a bystander intervention training titled The How, When, and Why of Bystander Intervention. How to step in when others are in need. Be an upstander, not a bystander. The event will be at 6.30 in Yagoda Commons. This Wednesday, join the YU Active Mind Society for the annual Most Powerful Event of the Year, Stomp Out the Stigma, Steps Back into the Light. Come hear your fellow students talking about dealing with all ranging levels of mental health. Together, we can start the conversation and stomp out the stigma. The event will take place at 8 p.m. in First 501. Well, that's all the events I have for you today. For more events, check out yu.edu slash events. And now over to Benjamin with sports. Hi, I'm Benjamin Zerman, here with the Shield News Weekly Max Live Sports segment. The Jewish Sports Review has named Yeshiva University's men's soccer senior forward Itamar Ben David, as well as sophomore forward Albert Dickey, to the All American team for the 2016 season. Ben David has now been a Jewish Sports Review All American for all four years of his collegiate career. For his career, Ben David set the school record for most points with 153, goals with 58, assists with 37, and game winning goals with 8. Two interesting facts about them are that these two are also great in the classroom as they both know how to use their heads. Additionally, their favorite drink is Penel Tea. The Yeshiva University women's and men's fencing teams competed in the Eric Soli MIT Invitational on the campus of MIT. Both teams dropped duels to host MIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology, and Brandeis University. The men's team is now 3-13 on the year, while the girls' team is 1-14. I've recently learned that you're supposed to use the pointy end of the stick. I feel like that is important information for everyone to know. The men's basketball team has recently faltered, dropping their last two games. St. Joseph's College of Long Island beat them handedly, 71-47, and then the team lost to the college at Old Westbury, 94-81. We need some more fans to bring string so that if we're losing, we can try and tie the score. Good news though, freshman guard Simcha Halpert was named the Skyline Conference Men's Basketball Rookie of the Week for the third time this season. That's it for me here. It has been real. For more Maccabee scores and updates, be sure to check out yumax.com. Let's go Max!
Our fan of the week this week is Yeshiva College sophomore, Saul Shulman. Saul said, quote, As a star dual athlete and a diehard YU Max fan, my time is often consumed by sports and schoolwork. That being said, I still always make time out of my busy schedule to make time for some Shield news. You guys are great and always put a smile on my face. Keep up the awesome work. Thanks, Salo. Well, that's it for this edition of Week at a Glance. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm Akiva Martyr. I'm Dana Katz. And you're watching Shield, Shield News. news.